requirements. Uh, states across the U.S. continue to drop their mask mandates. Some are still asking, is the pandemic really over? A lot of people have been so anxious to get back to their old normal, but at least one expert says people need to be careful about becoming complacent when it comes to COVID-19. And joining us now, Dr. Eric Topol, founder and director of the Scripps Research Translational Institute. Dr. Topol, good to see you again. Good to see you both. So we're at a point here of no more masks, 81 percent, better than 80 percent of San Diegans vaccinated. The numbers are dropping. What is the concern here? Well, the concern is that the pandemic isn't over, uh, that there are still many people vulnerable. That sense of the 80 percent vaccinated, it's actually much lower than that because uh, we're not talking about children from age five all the way up. It, that number drops quite a bit. The children under age five, of course, aren't vaccinated. There's no approval. Most importantly, uh, we have so many people who haven't gotten booster shots yet. Uh, and that's a serious problem because waning after four or five months leaves them very much unprotected uh, against Omicron. And we have the concern about future variants. We have too many ways uh, that future variants can form that can be um, really troubling, even worse than Omicron and the prior variants that we've experienced. And Dr. Tobel, as you know, the Biden administration has established this treat to test to treat program where you can say go to a pharmacy, get tested, and then on the spot you can receive antiviral medication. Do you think that's a good plan? Well, the plan is good. It's actually uh, the kind of thing we want is early treatment for people when, when, as soon as they have a positive test to block those who have risk of needing hospitalization by 90%, which is fantastic. The problem is we don't have enough pill packs. And because we don't have support of the expanded budget, uh, we only have 850,000 total for the whole country. Uh, the order of the 10 million uh, uh, blister packs of Paxlovid has been held up because the, the government doesn't have the funds to pay for it. So we have a real problem. We have a great idea, a very bold initiative that was announced in the State of the Union address and a, and a 96 page plan that followed the, the, the next day. But we don't have the resources or the pills nor the details uh, to work this thing out. Dr. Tobel, we've had folks that got their first shot, of course, then the uh, second shot that came with it, then the booster shot, and now talk of getting another booster shot. Any new information on that front in terms of when that second booster shot should come? Well, we don't know about that yet. Of course, in Israel, they've used the four shot pretty liberally. Uh, they had a really uh, bad Omicron wave there. Uh, in the UK, in recent days, there's been a new uh, starting to see a spike in hospital uh, admissions again. And there's a worry there that could be due to the waning. They already have initiated a program that people over age 75 should get a fourth shot. So what we're looking at, uh, even though there's no plan in the United States at this point, is that high risk people, once they get past, again, that four to six month time period, uh, might need a, uh, an extra shot, but it isn't certain yet, and we certainly haven't made any uh, actual uh, plans to lay out in the U.S. How concerned are you that complacency will just lead to more cases of long COVID? Uh, I am deeply concerned about that. Uh, I have a essay in The Guardian today about the, the brain uh, and COVID, and there was a really important paper published this week uh, from the UK with even mild infections, with imaging of the brain before uh, the infection and after with controls that showed uh, atrophy of the brain, uh, cognitive decline, you know, really serious manifestations with mild COVID. Now that, as you mentioned, there's also long COVID, uh, which is troubling. We have millions, tens of millions of people that have been affected with that in this country. So we have to have respect for these infections. And we can't just, even though we're so fed up with this pandemic, we can't just make believe it's over and, it's, and, and proceed as if the virus isn't out there. We still have a significant level of virus in San Diego. And until that gets to a very, very low level, 
of rare cases, we have to keep our guard up. We've got immunocompromised people that uh, will be hurt if they get infected because even vaccines may not work fully. So the main thing is not let this virus uh, uh, have lack of regard because it's not done with us. Dr. Eric Topol is the founder and director of the Scripps Research Translational Institute. Dr. Topol, thank you very much for your insights again this morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me.